Okay guys, what's up? It's Alicia from Alicia Meat Sticks and today I'm going to do a top 10 countdown thing of my all-time favorite You Me At Six songs and it's kind of a given that I have to do this because my username has something to do with this band it is influenced by it um, not exactly after it, but you know you get the gist of it this was extremely hard for me to do because basically all their songs are my favorite but I kind of narrowed it down to the songs I most frequently listen to and what I like feel the most like dancey and vibey to. So let us begin. I say, say you'll never, say you'll never change, say you'll never, say you'll so number 10, I have Cold Night because this song I love so much just because I think this is probably one of my favorite slow songs. I just love the powerfulness that it has behind it. When this song came out, when this whole album came out, I was kind of going through a tough time and the song was extremely relatable and it's just so catchy and just it's so beautiful. I think anyone can like this song. Number nine, I have Carpe Diem off of Cavular, Cav, Cavu, Cavalier youth. I can never pronounce that word, I don't know why. But yeah, I really, really love this song because it's very, first of all, again, it's also a very powerful song, I think, and it has a lot of meaning, and especially to me, you know, just to like remind myself, like, hey, I gotta take advantage of every single day and like make it worth as much as possible, even though I kind of fail at that because every day I just sit at home and do nothing, but I'm getting somewhere eventually. But Carpe Diem, I love it. It's very catchy and I think it goes back more to their pop punk kind of roots. I don't know, it just makes me feel happy and I feel like I can really accomplish like a lot of things um, after listening to that song. And yeah. Number eight, I have Knew It Was You off of the Rescue Me EP. And not a lot of people know about this song actually. Just that opening bit of that song just like traps you into that song already. Like it just pulls you right in. It's great. I love it. It's so fucking catchy and I just wanna like jump around and like sing my heart out of the song. And unfortunately I don't think they'll ever play this song live, but hopefully maybe one day they'll give me a private concert where they'll play me all of my favorite songs that they normally would play. So you me and six, if you're watching this. You better, you know, hook it up. I hate to break it to you, but you're just a lonely star. Number seven, I have the famous Bite My Tongue featuring Ollie Sykes of Bring Me the Horizon. And I mean, if you know you me at six, you probably like the song, and if you know me, you me at six, you probably found them through the song, most likely, not everyone, but it's one of their like most popular songs, and I don't doubt it because it is so good. But yeah, the song I think also very very powerful. The words I think are so very relatable. I think this was the song that I found them through. It like literally just came out and I was like, holy shit, who are they? This song is so catchy and then I think the day after, because I had the song stuck in my head, I'm like, I need to find out who these people are. So that was when I like found um, Take Off Your Colors. I think I was about 14. I was 14 when I found them. That was like 2011. Yeah. They are dope. Number six, I have the also very famous Underdog. Um, most people, if you listen to You Me at Six, you would know the song. It is extremely catchy. It's very short, but I think it's just perfect, you know, like just the right time, it gets in everything. Every time I hear this song, I just want to jump up and down and uh, sing my heart out. Like paper planes in the playground games, connecting, researching. Number five, I have Starry Eyed, and Starry Eyed, I think, is very, very personal to me. It is basically what sums up my soul. I just feel a special way when I hear this song. I love the little, like, some like Spanish vibe to it. Like, I don't know, like in the background of the instrumentals, I really like that. Um, and I think it's just a very beautiful song. Josh's um, vocals in this are so talented. I mean, 
in every song he's talented, but like I think in this song it really like accentuates his vocals and it it's beautiful. And not that many people know this song either, it's very underrated. Um, so if you've never listened to this song before, definitely go check it out because it's really good. <laughs> I have Jealous Minds Think Like, and if any of you follow me on Tumblr, you would know that my Tumblr URL is Jealous Minds Vibe Alike. I love the beginning of the song where they have that little part where it's very like, like I, I don't really know what that's called, I'm sure there's a term for that, but I just love it. It's so powerful and just like demanding and it's just like bam, and then it goes into the chorus. If you watch the music video for that for that song, they're such- they're so little and like they're so adorable. I remember when I first found them, I looked up that- I think that was like the first music video besides Bite My Tongue that I found and they were so young and I remember I fell in love with Josh. For number three, I chose Sweet Feet off of Take Off Your Colors because that song is it vibes with me. It's fast paced but like very like softly sung at the same time and I just really love it in the instrumentals for it and I just wanna like every time I hear it I just wanna like sing it out loud to the world. I remember I think the first time I really listened to this song was when I was taking a road trip to the Grand Canyon and I was fourteen. I was about to turn fifteen and um, I just remember I would like look out the window and I'd see like the pretty like purples and oranges of the Arizona desert and I just remember I was like wow this song really hits me. Number two I put Kiss and Tell also off of Take Off Your Colors because this song just makes me want to like jump up and dance and just Ugh, I love it. And I definitely feel like this song is a hella burn to whoever this song is about. I think, I don't know, like I feel like you could play this at a party and everyone would just vibe to it, you know? Number one, this is a song that You, Me, and Six hates and I fucking love it. It is my all-time favorite song. And I think that other people would agree with me because I definitely know a lot of people that love this song. If you want me to dance like a fool in public in front of everyone, normally I wouldn't do that. But if you play this song for me anywhere at any given time, I will dance like a fucking maniac to this song because it is so good and a song I definitely just vibe to the most, I feel like, out of all their songs. It's so catchy and it just makes me want to go crazy and all out. So yeah, that was my top 10 of my favorite You, Me, and Six songs, and my honorable mention would have to be every single other You, Me, and Six song that I didn't mention already, because all of their songs are fucking great. Let me know down below what your favorite song was from them, or out of my top 10. Give it a thumbs up for You, Me, and Six, because they are amazing. And if you want me to make more top 10s in the future about any kind of music, or, or artist, or whatever, just let me know. And I'll do that because this is actually really fun for me to pick out um, songs and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I'll see you guys next week.